Okay, Lindsay, I want to continue where you left off uh, with uh, the Muslim Brotherhood on record being an MI6 front. Uh, why would the globalists go in and start triggering all of these revolutions? Why would CNN be telling us how it's like 1776, but then promote sound cannons and microwave guns to be used on the American people? I mean, clearly the globalists love what's happening. Uh, please continue. This is the method of the New World Order to bring in everything that they want to do by the end of 2012. I gave you that timeline over two years ago. I told you that I'd been told by Mr. Trump, that's before he passed away, that the timeline is the end of 2012. Uh, we're getting very close. Here's what basically you're going to see next. When Kissinger went abroad and said, I'll cut you a deal, you buy our Treasury issues, it was as sound as the dollar. It's not that way today. This Middle East crisis is all perpetrated by the elite. I was told that, and I reported it on your show before it ever happened. You can't say you didn't hear it, and I'm warning you what's going to happen from here. Whenever this crisis grows to a fever pitch, it is going to Saudi Arabia. One way or the other, the Muslim Brotherhood will see to it, and March the 11th is their goal for the day of rage. And when this happens, Saudi being the one to supply more crude oil to America than any other country, it will impact the American economy and society and the dollar. The dollar just before going on your show this morning, Alex, I looked at it. It was 76.73, and it is forecast that when it hits 75, it will plunge. That means that you go to the grocery store, you're going to be paying phenomenal prices for groceries, for hardware, for everything imaginable. What's going to happen in the Middle East as this price grows to a fever pitch? In turn, they will not be able to supply us with the oil. Libya just cut off 1.6 million barrels that went to Europe. Now, when Saudi Arabia cuts off the United States of America, can you even comprehend in the least what is going to happen? This is not the worst part. The part that is so significant is when the dollar plunges, the value of those T-bills and Federal Reserve securities, China holds $1 trillion worth. All of the Middle East countries were told by Mr. Kissinger it was the soundest currency on the world. They have trillion dollar, trillions of dollars worth. Whenever this plunges, the American dollar goes down because they can't supply. The American economy is affected. This is an outright double cross. Folks, do you have the slightest idea what they intentionally did? They double crossed all these nations, sold them worthless paper. Now they're holding it. And then when they realize what this country has done to them, when China realizes they have $1 trillion of worthless paper, folks, I warned you, I pleaded with you. Mr. Fromm told me before he passed away, he said, Chaplin, if it's written on a piece of paper, it's worth the paper it's written on. And when America, when they always, they, they've done this intentionally in the Middle East in order to create the crisis so that they could bring about the, the Americans being in such a destitute condition that you will plead and beg with the New World Order, the World Bank, and the IMF for a new currency. You will plead and beg with them to supply you oil. You will do anything at any price at that point. I have been told, and I just said this days ago, a three I appeared on your show for the first time last week, Alex, with this, I was told that at that point we will open up four major oil fields in America produced from our own soil, but you will be paying over $200 a barrel for it when it could be produced for $60 a barrel. But at that point, you will be so destitute in America, you will beg for anything in order to be able to drive to work, and your dollar will be so worthless and the nations of the world so angry at us, the New World Order will be able to bring in all of that which they already have planned. And then they will pose as our gracious saviors. And if you go back and read your book from 30 years ago, it was all laid out right there, and now here it is unfolding. The question is, can the globalists complete this operation? Well, the world is focused on the Charlie Sheen extravaganza that was launched on this show by accident last Thursday. That's the number one story in the world right now, all over the planet. According to Yahoo, Google, and many other barometers, uh, we're seeing world government launch their takeover operation of the planet. How bizarre that we're in the middle of both major stories tracking uh, the serious situation with Pastor Lindsey Williams and also 
at the center of the Charlie Sheen situation. It's, uh, well, reality is much stranger than fiction. That certainly is borne out by people who are living in reality and uh, taking action in their daily lives. Uh, you can certainly uh, just see how strange this world truly is. Uh, Lindsay, for those that haven't done the deep research on all this, I hope they realize that you're not just saying you made these predictions in October. You weren't just saying three and a half years ago that oil would go from $50 a barrel to 150 in the next few months, and it did. Then you said now it's going to plunge down to 40 and then it did. And then you said you've got two years, it's slowly going to go up, and then it's going to explode. I mean, you, you, you're not predicting. You have these major globalist sources known to myself and Dr. Stan Monteith and others. Obviously, we can talk about Ken Fromm now because he sadly died of cancer. But we can't uh, get into the other uh, gentleman, the former oil company CEO. Uh, but this is a short segment. I, I wanted to go back in time uh, because in the last two interviews, we haven't gotten to the Ken Fromm situation. He was always hiding in plain view. You gave a speech with him. When he first went public, uh, he was then fired when your book came out, later rehired. Uh, the, you told the story of the oil company CEO showing up at the back of the audience when he was speaking, uh, when you were there. I mean, this all came out in the early 80s, uh, and, and, and this whole 50-year plan we've been on uh, by the globalists. Uh, briefly, break down that Ken Fromm story. Well, uh, Alex, you know, I'll be glad to, but you know, there's so many things here right now that I'd love to say, but okay. Uh, back in those days, it was quite obvious. He had told me when the Gull Island find came in that this is what's so significant to right now. And folks, I, I just, I, I'm pleading with you, I'm begging with you this morning that you listen to these things. You, you have never been affected in your lifetime like you're going to be affected in the next few weeks' time. The Go Island Find is recorded in my book, The Energy Knowing Crisis. Uh, if Go Island doesn't blow your mind, this will. And the day that I watched the largest oil pool on the face of the earth proven and brought in, and, the fall, and within 24 hours, the information was ordered classified, and I asked Mr. Fromm, I said, Ken, why don't you bring this to the American people? Why don't you give us our great American dream? Why don't you let us have soil from our own, uh, oil from our own soil? And he said to me, he said, Chaplain, we are not going to do this. We will not allow this information out. Of course, when my book, Energy Knowing Crisis, came out, they went into orbit. And, of course, later threatened me because of what I'd said. Uh, but then they couldn't stop it. It was already out there. Uh, and Ken said to me, he said, we will not produce this oil from our own soil until we have crude oil to 150 to $200 a barrel. It looks as though it's going to be $225 a barrel instead of $200 a barrel. They're going to open up four major oil fields. I was told this 35 years ago. Uh, it was in my book, Energy Nine Crisis, what Mr. Fromm said. It's recorded. Now, I'm telling you, Oman is in trouble. Saudi Arabia is scheduled for a day of rage on March the 11th by the Muslim Brotherhood. Yes, we They're covered. moving tanks into Bahrain this morning. Yeah, we covered that, but I want to... The thing is, I just wanted to finish the stories we couldn't get to last time, and I want to be specific because we got a long segment coming up. We're going to break here, Lindsay. I want to finish the Ken Fromm story or anything else you've never told before on air, and, and, and uh, we've talked about the Day of Rage coming up. Have you talked to your other Mr. X? The, 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 that's an important question. Have you talked to him since we talked last Monday? Uh, so I'm going to ask you that when we come back after the break uh, and a lot more with Chaplain Lindsey Williams. Uh, please stay with us. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv. We'll be right back.